If you are not enjoying your acts of worship, you need to check where you're going wrong. Have you wronged someone? Have you hurt someone? Have you harmed someone? Have you, are you engaged in some sin that is hidden? If you are engaging in sin, what is taken away from you is ladhat al-ibadah. The sweetness of worship is taken away from you because there is a sin that you keep going back to. You know what it may be. You keep going back to this thing. For that, when you do your salah, you won't enjoy it. You see, sometimes you watch the masjid. Some of the people, they're always in the masjid, always doing Quran, always reading. Even some of our sisters and ladies and mums and uh, grandmums, when they're sitting at home, for example, they will reset the, with the Quran for hours on end. They're enjoying it, they're reading, they're looking and you're wondering, I went, I see my mother's reading. I, I came back, I see she's still reading. I came back, she's in Salah. I went, as I went out, she's still in Salah. Doesn't it happen? They are enjoying the sweetness of worship. And with us, Salah time is coming. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Pogba is still kicking the ball. Subhanallah, the man himself is also reading Salah. And you are busy watching him without reading Salah. It's ironic. I have seen sports persons who are more concerned about their Salah than their fans. If you're a true fan, fulfill the Salah just like they do. Subhanallah. You really want a good example? There goes. Cricketers. I know of some cricketers who are really amazing people. As Muslimin. I'm sure you might know some too. But my brothers and sisters, I tell you, Allah has blessed us. Allah has blessed us in so many ways. And Allah Almighty tells us we need to engage in the best that we can. Oh, my God.